Welcome to part 11 of the Abbas campaign for Total War Attila. Now I'm going to start with a bit of an apology in the sense that this is going to go up late because it's just been one heck of a week. I normally record these the day before so I would normally record this on a Wednesday for publication on a Thursday and it was just yesterday I just couldn't get any peace uh, had constant phone calls and interruptions so I'm going to record this late and I think this is going to be a trend for at least a bit of a couple of months so I think what I might have to do is these episodes that go out in the back half of the week I'm going to have to kind of record earlier so I can kind of effectively pre-record them so that I can at least will have something to put out because I, I can see the moment that other distractions are going to push in and re restrict my ability to record. So that's the apology. Now let's get down to the nuts and bolts. In the last part, we took advantage of Franconia, I think it was. Yeah, Franconia being under rebel control to push out this far now. And I've got out to this point here where we've got armies holding down the rebellions. We've got more rebels out here which are very very tempting but I'm not so sure but the real problem at the moment is that my armies are holding down the rebellions everywhere here it's the presence of an army that's actually it's the presence of an army here which is actually keeping the public order intact so we're going to, this part's probably going to be quite short mainly because I do have a bit of a lack of time and I'm just trying to squeeze this in quickly also that I think it's gonna be quite boring in the sense that just gonna be rebuilding trying to stabilize these areas before we move on so what I'm gonna do first though is I'm just gonna look at the family tree because I was thinking about it and these guys are getting more powerful this air here this guy's he's push clocking on a bit so I think what I'm gonna need to do is get him in here and try and consume some of this guy's resources could assassinate. Hmm, that's tempting. But who would I assassinate? This guy? No, maybe. Battle funds 88, 88. Don't want a divorce. Could adopt that guy, but that might. Because if I push the power up too far, I'm just going to get more and more corruption. I don't want that. Secure loyalty. I suppose he could. Isn't there anyone? No. Nope. Uh, you a bit low. Uh, maybe we can secure your loyalty later on. I think for the moment I'm just going to gather support. I think. So we're just going to do that. We're going to go for an intern now. Just kind of fill this area out here. Oops, oh, so we got rebellion, Lombards. I think increasingly the Lombards are going to be on my hit list. Mainly because if you look here, the what they call them, this Sic Sic Sicily, theme of Sicily, are, are pushing up here. And I want to get a slice of the action if the Lombards are going to go down. We've got rebellion in Franconia. Ah, oh, disease. Bugger. Where's that broken out? I knew I should have. Unforeseen complication. Please try to start your main man this time is not right to make attempts so it's hard to bought the plan so does that well he's reduced the power there we've well we've accomplished the aim we've dropped his power down here you're in position what we have to do is see if we can get you up here give it a few turns and then maybe we'll try and secure that guy's loyalty and maybe she can give him a boost She's she's 56, so she might not last much longer. So I'll just do that. Now I've got a feeling, afraid that these turns are going to be very much the armies moving about, securing positions. So we've got this army here in Rendsburg. It's got five. This army here. So we've got negative food, and that's costing me money. So I think. Don't have that much to spend, but I'll drop that in there. 
just to solve this problem out because I mean that's one of my wealthier pro provinces and at the moment it's costing me money there so and we've got we've completed the research oh, my, my inclination has come down here to try and strengthen my armies because one of the points that was made to me by in the comments is that I'm, I'm doing two things I'm taking on troops which is weakening my veterancy which I do need to build up and the other thing is that my armies when I go up against the Franks it's gonna be a tough proposition there's no point pretending otherwise so I need to get them up a little bit a lot stronger here so we've got this I'm, I'm watching rebel settlements and they're very very tempting but I don't really want to go out and take a whack at those. I'm just going to bring battle. this army down here. Set up a watch. We've got rebellion rebels Ready here. So I'm just going to let it build up a few times and the um, this army can come out and have a crack at them. I've got these spies here. I think I'm going to send this guy up here to see who's around up here first. So who's this? We've got the Danes. So there, but I think oh, yeah. So the Franks are laying siege there. I'm going to bring this army back because I think what I'm going to need not army, sorry, spy back. Where are my spies? Got Octra there. Blood and glory. Got this guy here. I think what we're going to do is he's quite happily there, but I'm going to push this guy out first because I think it's time to start. Scouting out. If, if I'm considering attacking the Lombards, I need to oh, find out I where their troops are. So where's my third spy? So I've got a spy coming through here. I think what we'll do is we'll get you coming down this way, uh, just to see what's out here and trying to gauge the strength of the. Lombardian army. So we'll just have a quick look through here. We don't have a lot of money. We've got disease in Fritilli, which is in an easier, so we'll just hope it hopefully it won't spread. Maybe I should bump that up next turn. Just to try and get the sanitation under control. So I'm just gonna go for an end turn. I don't think there's gonna be much. Got this governor here. We're certainly going to bugger. I think what we're going to do here now is cancel that, come down to here, build that, that gives me a bit of extra cash. This will, once that governor gets in there, he will save money. So where could I spend some money? Sorry for the di diversion, guys. We've got, what we got in Franconia? Maybe I should be converting this, don't have enough. I need to repair it. God, <sighs> uh, I might as well bite the bullet. It's got to be done. So, because it's just des totally destroyed. Downside of things. So I might as well just get it done, and then hopefully we might have not have to convert it. So let's go for the end turn. I think we're going to burn through some end turns in this part. Just try and. Get these provinces settled, not expecting any major battles. There we got there. The Power balance. So got 51%. So we're back down here. Loyalty was still hanging in there. That's good. Many of these guys. I'm very reluctant to drop these guys in here. We've got this, this is the future's heir, which is the sun. So, I've got a bit of cash here, so I'm gonna. And I don't have enough. I 
nothing else. I definitely want to build this, so I'm going to hang on to the money. But I think what we're going to do here is just come out here and to battle. just bash this guy up. I'm not, I'm not going to fight it, guys. Sorry, but I find if you fight here, you get a couple of units to get away, and then you've got to chase them over the map. And then I'll probably end up having to trespass on Frankish territory. Nope, nearly done it again. See, this is very much a bad habit I've picked up from playing the last Roman campaign that I was rolling across the map and I was just continuously just picking up troops to keep this to avoid having to wait to replenish. But I wasn't worried about the veterancy of my army, so I'm just going to kill them. Kill those. I'm just going to drop you back into Frankfurt. I think that I um, now should release this army to start coming south. So let's see if we can. If I put you there, you can find your own way. The Rendsburg's there. This army is over there. If I start moving this army south, ready to have a go at the. Lombards. I think this is a point actually while I'm thinking about it. Now to win this campaign you've, all you've got to do is build up Imperium. Now and you've got this reach Imperium level 5 and I get Carganet Rises. So and I've got this whole load of bits here, land grants, current there. So we've got that one because we captured Prague, Cavalry Games, I'm not sure, I think that's... Oh, I'm not going to bother with that. Temple of the Eternal Sky, we've got to build that. Maintain at least 80%, that's going to be tricky. We'll construct two of each of the following, Trade Cities. And we've got land grant, Research Land Grants, which is way out there. So, you don't have to wage constant war, is what I'm getting to, is the fact that in these parts here, you're kind of dealing with the enemy, building them up, but there's no great imperative to rush out and conquer everything. I think this is where it's a very much a different style of map play. I was about to say map, but it's actually a, a different style of play in the sense that what you're actually doing, I'm just going to go for an end turn because. I'm not going to be able to do much else here. We've got this general here. Got some authority. I think what we're going to do here is go down here and get into campaign movement range. Yeah, so I know the traditional way of. Oops, I should have moved the agents of winning campaigns in Attila or, or Total War is to go out and conquer everything in sight. I don't think with this campaign that's the imperative. It's about building up, creating the Imperium. And in the similar vein, because the Avars aren't Christian, I'm, I'm going to have this constant problem of having to try and settle these uh, regions down. And unlike the vanilla game, it's the buildings aren't that strong. So we got a illegitimate birth, also disease spread. Oh, don't do this to me. So we've got disease spreading to. So where's the disease now? It's gone to Aguila. Bugger. So you're coming south, but I don't want you. If we can, it's autumn now. So can I get you into Salzburg? I'll go, and then we have to get you into Passa. But this is going to cause me a problem because I've got this army here. If this disease spreads, I'm going to have to come through a diseased area. That's going to be a problem. Oh, somebody's got a glowing health. Not so much for you, mate. So what we're going to do is get this underway so we can get the cash up. Got 2,000 left to spend. I think I'm going to pull you back here. I think I'm just wasting my time having you up there. I think we'll just is there nothing else? deploy you so you can get a bit of performance in. I think we'll bring you down this way. 
just so we can see what settlements are here and who they belong to. So, who are you lot? You're East Failure. Let's see if we can get... <coughs> oh, yeah, so... Greetings to you. I, I trust you time. come with honorable words that I can oh, hear I kindly. Cash out of them. You bless oh, our that's meat. nice of you. So we got some cash out of those. Theme of Sicily. Do you come like then, us? Come then, speak. The people will consider what I hear. No. Duchy of Frisia, we can't train, train to you. You don't like us, but you're not a problem. So, so we got that, and we've got a bit more cash to spend, so that's just nice. So we've got Pannonia here. Now, back on what I was talking about is that here, let's see here, we need to start improving the Imperium. I think this is what I'm looking for. Hall of Elders. Right click. One of the following must be present in this in the settlement when we construct this. And it's a primary building slot, so I think I, it probably won't build there, so I'm going to have to expand this. I think we're going to drop a hall of stories in here. It'll give me some cash, it'll give me some row searching, it'll also give me some Imperium. So I think we'll go with that, and I think that effectively. Got some slot here, but it's nothing worth building. Franconia, let's have a look in Rengsburg. I'm gonna knock that down, I think. I can't see much point in having that. Lots of food in this area, pretty bad, so expand that and get that in. Because we've got a guard post there, so we need to get the food up here. We've got a food market, so. Right, we're going to go for an intern. So we're going to burn through these interns quite quickly. Certainly going to go for that and that. In for this one here. So I'll just have a quick look at the agents. Keep forgetting about them. So we've got Spoleto here. Let's see if we can... So let's see if we can go say hello to the Papal States. They've got quite a powerful... Clouty army. Let's push this guy up. This way, see who's there, whether that's the Franks or anybody else. Just gonna get you swing by here and down to here. Strasbourg and Merth. So, Franks are right on my border here. So, uh, again, I think that's all we can do this turn, so we're going to just burn through this part again. And of course the next part, next time it's going to be winter. So, so considering, it would be interesting to know where these guys keep wandering off to. So, something to Obola. Duchy, Fema, Sicily. They've made a lot of progress up through here. Actually, I a sudden thought. Noble birth, Emis, Emis. Oh no, what have we got here now? Solar eclipse, the sun has blotted out during the sky, causing the land to fall into darkness. Many have prayed to their gods, believing they have been heralds of the thing. <sighs> so I've got three turns of. That's exactly, that's, I just, that's exactly what I wanted, wasn't it? I think we're going to take some winter. Can we get here and... Yeah, get I'm going to take a bit of winter ready. attrition, but I think we can kind of gain it back in one turn. Because getting across this pass is going to be a, a bit of a problem. So we've got this army here. I should have really moved them down to here, but they can wait. They're not going anywhere special. So, let's have a quick look to see. Well, that minus two hasn't affected anything too much at the moment, which is good. So, I think that's 
good, but the food shortage in Bavaria should be right. Got a treasury there. This is Bavaria. Um, goldsmith, what's the squalor sanitation in Bavaria? So maybe that's not so good having it in there, but this is this is close to. So that could let me give me a chance to upgrade this, but I don't have the cash for it. I could put that in, that would give me the mint, but a bit reluctant to do that. A quick look at Franconia. Mm, Franconia's there, but it's in a little bit of a mess. I don't think I'm going to need sanitation here just yet. I think I'm going to go this way. It may seem a bit illogical, but I think if I get the Tengrenism underway, because it's it's still quite low, so I think if I get a Temple of Sky here, I'll have a, a band up here, because I just need to free these armies up. And food's okay here. Because uh, we got the salt meal, maybe uh, that'll give me a bit more growth. That's, that'll give me 150. So that's give me a top six three hundred. Say so if I that would give me 400, but I'm gonna have to deal with squalor. So, got no other real industrial buildings here, so I think what we're going to do is drop a trading post in there. The mill gives me 10%, 10 for industrial, but we don't really have this industrial. No, that's, oh, that's industry. So, 180 from industry, that would give me a water mill. I think I'm going to go with that for the moment. Just to try and just trying to push this income up. As I say, Bye. having the assassin here, brass army. I think we we'll go for some deal. I think guerrilla reactivity could be interesting. So we'll just do that. Burn through some more turns. Oh, got all about you again. And you. It's interesting. It looks like Lombards are up here. We we'll need to see how far they've gone. Mm. You're in Ravenna. <coughs> looks like there's a Lombard army down here. I mean, it'd be nice if they if they keep pushing against the theme of Sicily, because then they'd have uh, armies, and then they'd be weak in the centre, and I could be I might be able to push through and kind of capture the centre of Italia. That would be quite nice. So we're just gonna come down here. We've had a shift as a thing, so I think we'll bring you down and maybe up here just to see. There's a Lombard army here facing off against the theme of Sicily there. Uh, We've counted some new factions, so let's see anybody like us. Duchy of Burgundy. Be welcome. Can we? I listen get a and speak for my people oh, yeah, in our dealings get a bit today. Of cash with them. Probably don't like us that much, so well, let's try with a thousand. No low. So maybe we're. Just go with 500. Always pays to give it a go. Yep, I've accepted. You know, when when the when it says that the I, it's high. And then what was the other lot? Oh, they don't like us. So. so oh, give us a bit more cash to spend, which is good. 
how's the disease in this area? We've still got disease in here. It hasn't spread to Verona. Maybe this will knock it down. We could. That would give us extra food here. 93. Let's have a quick whip through. This building up. We can house the sanitation here. Got two spare sanitation there. So that would give us a bit more cash, a bit more iron production. That was the food. Yeah. Um, Arabia. I don't think you've got spare sanitation. Nope. Baconia's up here doing okay. Good. That would give us an extra 200, I think. I'm going to go with that because that's probably going to give me the best bang per buck. Now, I'm going to try and do, I've got my faction leader here. Problem is, do I want to risk? Uh, do I risk bringing my army into a disease centre? I don't think I want to, to be honest. Because the last thing I want is that army to contract the disease and I'd like to if possible can this if I bring this army out for the tribe. Is there nothing mm. else? <sighs> difficult difficult because I've got this army trapped there I've got this army trapped down here oh we're just gonna go for another red turn sorry guys I'm just rattling through this at the moment. It'd just be nice to get rid of that disease. Because it's going to be a tough battle against the Lombards. I, I can assure you of that. And the more forces I can get down, the better. Because it's going to be a question of trying to hold hold what I take. There's no point me invading and so you've got What's another born? army here. I was born to end lives. The the Duchy of Benevito is still hanging in there. So and we've got an army there. So we'll just is this my other spy. Let's find them. So we'll just guys have moved. You have You're up here. I think you've wasted enough time kind of floating around here. So I think what we're going to do is bring you across the top here. Oops, I don't want to disrupt the settlement. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. going to just bring you guys across here and Um, I think we're bringing you down through here. Yeah, you've got some Frankish armies there. Let's just bring you through that area there. Send this guy up to have a look, see here, up through here from this Grenoble. See how far. Oh, oh looks like the. They've captured Leon. And we've got a. This is the Duchy of Burgundy there. So, looks like very much like the Lombards are making good progress against the Franks. Maybe it's time to have a rethink. Maybe I should be. Let's have a quick look. So, Franks still hold 24 settlements. The Lombards, they've got 8. So, they've obviously. So, it's probably one. Five, six, seven. So, so they're still very much here. They're at war with the Franks, the Obdolites, and the Themis Sicily. So, I think the money's still on having a crack at the Lombards. So we're just gonna have a look and see what we can spend some money on. Fratelli's still got disease, which is a, a real pain. We can 
I don't have the money for that now. So I could go up there and that would give me gives me an extra 75. Can we get more? This is what we're looking for, is, is more bang for buck. Now I could if I pumped up the sanitation of this. Both of these have squalor thing. Mm. Maybe is it time to gives me the gives me ten percent from agriculture. Maybe is it time to improve the garrison on the Guila? Or actually Verona's time to uh, It's not too bad here, Croatia, kind of neglect Croatia so as the sanitation here. Very, very good. So I think we're going to go with a gold to here. And again, that's all my money spent. So, um, one more turn guys and then that's it, I think, for this part. Um, I'm being waved at as well in the corner of my eye. So. I think this is about as far as I can push it for this part. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. It's, I'll say it's, I know I'm very much aware that it's quite flat and I'm not really doing much. So, Dutch Alemania factions no more, so who the heck? I think that's up in here somewhere. Where is it? Here. So it looks a bit like. The Franks are pushing south, so that's maybe even more of a queue. Ah, looks like we've, we've got rid of the disease, but we're in bloom and autumn. Oh, I'm just going to go for it. Going to take it. We're going to take attrition, no matter what happens over here. So we might as well get the king over. How's Rendsburg? Rendsburg's still positive, so I think if we bring you down here, and get you coming down behind. Dresden finished building that. No, two more turns. I think what I'm going to do is get you back to here. So you still keep the public order, but you're in more in a, a better position to move. And I think we'll still leave you out on the frontier. So just have a quick look at the cash. Spend money on. Or do I hold on to it? Maybe it's time for. Or shall I just keep the pressure up with the religion? Or. Could be good to build. Would that make more money? Mint? Would that make more money? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, Actually, could I maybe should I build a blacksmith here? It's only going to. Oh, no, I think I'm going to leave that. Could I have a hall of stories here? That would increase the research rate. Yep, I'm going to put hall of stories in here. I think we've got to start pushing the Imperium and the research rate. Got a bit of cash left to spend, so... And maybe it's time... What can I recruit here? We'll get a, maybe we'll start building this, pepping this army up a little bit. So, this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope, hope I'm aware the, the episode isn't that exciting and we've got a lot more work to do. But I think you can see where I'm going to go now. We're going to get down here, get the armies in position, maybe pep this army up. Maybe that might be a better solution, actually, is get rid of these guys. Recruit maybe a couple of these extra guys. Actually, if I would correct me, there's a... Get rid of you. And maybe 
get. Mm. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four lances. Get you another one of those because I think you'll be more useful than. So we've kind of built this army up. We can increase this army so we can do what we did in one of the earlier episodes. Is maybe sneak across here and dish out a bit of a kicking. So this is where I'm going to leave it guys. Um, like and subscribe and till the next time if you've got any comments and do you think attacking Lombard is a good idea? I mean maybe should I should I be going up and going head to head with the Franks? Or, you know, so feel free to pass an opinion because to me this is going to be a little bit of a guess. So all I've got left to say now is enjoy your gaming.